Koreans are willing to pay top dollar for some of their favorite indulgences, even if they are double or even triple the price that they are in other countries. What are these goods in question, and why are they so expensive here in Korea? Our Kwon Soa explains. What do coffee, wine, and cheese in Korea have in common? They are all popular imports. And they are expensive. In fact, a recent survey of 13 major countries revealed that these three products are pulling the largest amount of money out of Korean consumers' pockets. According to Consumers Korea, a Starbucks Americano costs more than 4,000 won in Korea, or roughly three U.S. dollars and 80 cents. You'll get the same coffee indulgence for around two dollars and 30 cents at a Starbucks in the United States. But it's not all that shocking, considering that most Korean brands sell their coffee for similar prices, as coffee consumption has skyrocketed in recent years. The industry is now estimated to be worth around 5.7 billion U.S. dollars. Another product stands out too. A bottle of Montes Alpha premium wine from Chile sells for around $39 on Korean shelves, nearly double the price in Australia. And what goes well with the beverage? Cheese. But this, too, comes at a high price for Koreans. The Laughing Cow, a famous processed cheese product from France, can be bought in Korea for over $4, which is very expensive compared to what the French have to pay, a mere dollar and 30 cents. The list goes on. Eight out of 42 imported products were found to be the most expensive in Korea, and 11 products were ranked second most expensive. This, despite Korea's efforts to conclude numerous free trade agreements in recent years. Consumers Korea points to the country's distribution system as the reason for the high prices and says that for the general public to benefit from FTAs, the system will need a revision. Kwon Soa. Arirang News.